Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a few weeks ago, I had the opportunity to go to New York City for business, and I did a lot of shopping, makeup shopping to be exact, and I met up with a friend of mine who is a makeup artist, so I tagged along with her and we went shopping to um, the Makeup Forever store, the NAR store downtown. It was so much fun, and I actually met someone on my trip who works at L'Oreal, and she signed me into her company's store, um, and I did a little shopping there. So there's quite a bit of stuff here. I have some uh, fun stories, especially one about my Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, which I purchased while I was in New York. So if you're interested in finding out what I got, then just keep on watching. <laughs> So I have a lot of stuff in front of me, which is slightly disturbing, uh, but a lot of fun. So let me start with what I got at Sephora. I completely forgot to bring lip balm or to pack lip balm to New York, um, which was ridiculous. But I always wanted to try the Dior uh, Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm. Um, so I got it in the color um, 004 Coral, and this is what it looks like. It's just a, kind of like a tinted lip balm, and it kind of changes color to like your heat or to your skin's pH, whatever they say. Um, but it's a great lip balm. It's a very pretty package. I don't know if it's worth the price tag. I think it's like $33. And I'm not shy about spending money on, on good lip balm, which I have in the past, but this one's okay. And I like that it is in stick form. So many of my lip balms are in the tub, which gets a little grubby after a while. So, um, so that's definitely a plus for this. And I really do like it. I also picked up the um, Caudalie uh, face mist in the travel size um, because I was feeling a little out of balance between like the plane and you know Vegas being so dry and New York being sort of humid one day not humid the next day so I decided to pick up this mist which I like very much it gives my skin quite a glow um, if you have oily skin I'm not sure if this is for you um, but there is a very strong um, alcohol scent and feeling on there so it's very cooling um, and alcohol is the second um, ingredient in here. So if that's not your thing, then this, this may not be for you. But I didn't mind it, and it actually felt very, very refreshing. So I enjoyed this. And then the last thing I got at Sephora is the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, which I've taken out to admire a lot. I've taken out to photograph, um, and I just haven't had time to play with it and to give it its due attention, but that will definitely be coming soon. Um, but I walked into, well, let me back up. So I went online, I tried to order it and it was sold out, of course, because I was on the road and I was trying to do it on my phone and I missed the exact time. Anyway, I um, did like an in-store search on Sephora. You can like put in your zip code and it'll tell you what stores it's available in. So all the New York stores basically were listed and I thought, oh, I guess, I guess it's there. So I rushed to the closest Sephora to where I was staying and uh, I walked in, you know, and I looked around and uh, uh, an associate approached me and she said, are you looking for something specific? And I said, yeah, do you have the Sunset Palette? Um, she said, no, I'm sorry, that is coming out on the 15th. We'll be putting it out on the shelves. And I was there on the 13th. Um, I think it was the day after it was released, which was the 12th, which was a Friday, I believe, and the 15th was a Monday. So yeah, so I was there on a Saturday morning. It was raining, so I was kind of pissed. I was like, oh. Okay, so I just looked around, picked up some other things, um, and then all of a sudden I started to hear all this laughter, and you know, and I turn around and all the girls behind the cash register, they were all sort of giggling and they were pointing to the associate that had helped me, and she was walking over with this box, and she just turned around to them and she said, watch me. And she walked up to me, she was like, do you still want the Sunset Palette? I said, yeah. She's like, well, someone just returned it. She's like, I don't even know how they got their hands on it so quickly. Um, so. We opened it up, it looked absolutely pristine. Here it is. And uh, and I said, yeah, I'll take it. And so she we walked, you know, she walked me back to the, the cash register, and the girls behind the counter were like, I can't believe you just sold it. And she was like, I told them I was gonna sell that palette right now, and they didn't believe me. And I was like, here I am. I'm here to help you out. So I really lucked out, my timing was fantastic. Um, and I cannot wait to dig into this because I do love her star palette. So, um, so yay. So that's what I got at Sephora. Um, 
So I met up with a, a friend of mine who's a makeup artist. Hi, Jill, if you're watching. Um, she's awesome, and she every time we get together, she offers to take me shopping because she gets discounts. But um, she also went to the makeup show, and she picked up a few things for me there. So she picked up the um, Kevin O'Quan Neo Setting Powder for me um, at the makeup show, and I'm like beyond excited to give this a shot. This is another thing I just haven't had time to uh, dig into. Um, but it is reminiscent of um, his uh, Neo Bronzer and Neo Highlighters where um, it doesn't actually do an ombre, but it actually has like a change in finish. So it goes from like matte to like satin over here. Um, so depending on what you're going for, you know, you would dip your brush in at one end or the other or something in between. So I thought that was really cool. I can't wait to give this a shot. Um, you can never have enough setting powders. And she also picked up the Molten Lip Color, which I was really dying to try from Kevin O'Quan. And I really wanted the Rose Gold, but she said the only light color that they had or color that she thought would look good on me um, was the Copper Color. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's just sort of like a very metallic, frosty, foily kind of uh, lip gloss or lip mousse, if you will. And um, I know this is not everyone's Thing, but I absolutely love uh, metallic lips. Oh, she also picked up um, the Viseart Cool Matte Palette for me. I have almost all of the palettes, uh, but I don't have the Cool Matte or the Dark Matte, so I figured this time let's go for the Cool Matte. I figured I'd be wearing this more often, and this is what, this is what it looks like. Really great colors. I can't wait to use like this taupey color or this sort of like faint sort of mauve color over here and these grays. So I'm excited to give these a whirl. Love is the art um, shadows. They never ever let me down. Um, so that's what she got for me at the makeup show. And then when we went makeup shopping, we went to um, the NARS store and the Makeup Forever store. So let me show you what I picked up at NARS. I got the um, Charlotte Gainsbourg collaboration uh, multiple tint which comes in a box like this and it looks like a multiple but it's a multiple tint so it is much more um, sheer than the typical multiple and um, it has like a balmier more emollient texture than the multiples at least the multiples I've used tend to kind of get a little bit powdery once it kind of sets down so this is the color Joe that I picked up I think there's three colors in total and this is um, the color and it's great for the cheeks for just a really um, fresh simple sheer kind of uh, glow to the face it's wonderful I actually tried this out yesterday and it's really comfortable I love it um, and I also picked up the Charlotte Gainsbourg velvet duo eyeshadow in old Church Street and here's the box I love this packaging I don't know if you can tell on camera but it's not the typical NARS black um, it is like more of a khaki, like faded black khaki green color. It still feels the same. It has that rubberized feeling. The, uh, the NARS uh, and Charlotte Gainsbourg font is in gold. So it's really pretty. And this is what the eyeshadow duo looks like. There's like a nice um, kind of taupey frost shade on one side and then like a matte um, smoky navy color on this side. So you can get pretty much like a complete eye look out of here. Just you know, do like a one swipe with this and then line your eyes with this. So um, I tried uh, this out also yesterday and I really liked the look. It was really simple and easy to do and you know, you felt like, like done, you know, like you had, you were presentable and you could go out in public. So I really liked that. And when I was there at the store, I wanted to pick up the hydrating glow tint in light. Um, but they didn't have it in stock. So when I got home, I ordered it off of the Lord & Taylor site. I think they were one of the few sites that still had light um, in stock. So I wore the light glow tint yesterday and it feels wonderful. It is extremely sheer. If you're looking for any type of coverage, this is not, this is not, the, this is not the guy for you. Um, but my husband, without me even asking, my husband said, oh, you have makeup on today. I said, yeah. And he said, um, oh, interesting. He's like, I've never seen this like look on you. And I said, well, what does it look like? And he said, just like your face just looks a little brighter. And so I thought, okay, well, it definitely makes a difference, but it is not like, it's not a foundation at all. It is a very light 
tinted moisturizer. So I also was able to score the Sun Wash Diffusing Bronzer in Laguna. I feel like this has been sold out everywhere and um, I think everyone knows what this is at this point, but I will show you anyway. And it is the newest bronzer from NARS. It's a different uh, formula, um, but they're naming, or they've named a few of them the same. So this one's Laguna. This is, uh, this is what it looks like. Seem to be the right shade for me. So I can't wait to give this a shot. And I also picked up, so NARS came out with new liquid blushes, and I picked up the color Torrid. I, of course, immediately went over to Orgasm because that's, you know, what everyone uses. Um, but when I tried it on my hand, the Orgasm had a lot of, uh, like, a lot of, not glitter, but it had a lot of uh, metallic um, kind of sparkle to it. And I wasn't really looking for that, not in a liquid blush. I mean, maybe, I may, I may go for that next. But Torrid is um, more of just a, a peach, it kind of dries down to like a nice powdery finish, um, and it's very, very natural. So I decided to go with this first since I had never used this formula before, um, but I really like it. I kind of played around with it the other day, and it's it's quite nice. That's what I got at NARS, and then we went to Makeup Forever. I love that store. I don't know if you've ever been to the one on 12th Street. Um, 12th between University and 5th. It's in downtown New York, and I think it's been their only um, standalone boutique until just recently. I think one opened up in Midtown, but it's so much fun to walk in there um, and to see like all their products laid out. I went a little crazy with the eyeshadows. I'm not going to kind of go through all of them, but I picked up um, one, two, three, four, 11, 11 of the shadows because I just, I really, really love them. I feel like they're just rock solid workhorse shadows. They just sort of work all the time, no matter what's going on with my skin, what primer I've put down, what look I'm going for, they always seem to work. So here are some of the colors that I got. This is 804, 710, is this boring? I'm sorry, 556. And I think I'll do probably like a Makeup Forever shadow collection video so I can just sort of go through all of these and swatch them and kind of do a look with them. Um, this is 726, did I knock all these out? This is 560, um, 856, and this one is 814, 548, I bet these all kind of look the same in the box. 512 and 806. So those are all the powder pan shadows that I got, and I also picked up two of the medium-sized um, palettes. And then, um, I believe these are new. These are the Aqua XL color paints uh, for the eyes. And they kind of reminded me of the Milk Makeup Eye Pigments. Um, they're kind of like a, like a liquid to powder uh, formula. Uh, so I picked up three of these. Uh, this one is color I-50. I haven't tried these yet, so I can't tell you whether or not they um, stay on like all day or if um, you know or if they stay tacky. I like that the tube kind of reflects the color that's inside. This is I-80 um, and then this one is M56 which I believe is going to be like a matte kind of darker taupey color um, and they have a whole range. I think it's at Sephora but um, it was fun to see them all out on the at the store. Uh, yeah, so that's all I got at um, the Makeup Forever store. So let's move on to what I got at the L'Oreal Company store. So I didn't realize that L'Oreal owned Kiehl's, so I was pretty excited to see um, Kiehl's stuff there. So I picked up the Midnight Recovery Cleansing Oil, um, had seen, Botanical Cleansing Oil, excuse me. Um, I had seen some good reviews on this um, on YouTube, so I thought I would pick this up. And the bottle's not huge, so I didn't feel like I was committing to too much. It's 5.9 fluid ounces, so I got that. I also picked up the Iris Extract Activating Treatment Essence, and when I read the... <laughs> When I read the description where it says to reactivate skin's youthful look for smoother, radiant skin, I just grabbed it and put it in my basket. Um, but I do notice that it has some um, acids in there which don't normally jive with my sensitive eczema prone skin. So 
I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to use it lightly, maybe, you know, every other day or every three days or something like that and just see, and just see how it goes. I also picked up the Lancome uh, toner. This is toner for uh, dry skin, which is great. Um, most toners can feel very drying, so I thought I would give that a shot. And then I got some um, Armani stuff at the L'Oreal store. So I picked up two of the Rouge Ecstasy um, lipsticks. I got color, what is this, 202. This is a great like nude, a rosy nude color. And I also picked up color 301, which is like a nice sort of persimmon kind of corally, deep coral color, which which I love. It's not what I'm actually wearing today, um, but it is very, very similar. And then I got to try the Eyes to Kill Silk Eyeshadows. These are those um, solo shadows that come in the pot. So this is color six, and there is one color, so it's not this one. So this is number six. It's sort of like a khaki gold color. I'm excited to try that. Um, I think this other color that I picked up, number five, I can't actually get the cover off, if you can believe. I'm going to have to ask my husband to untwist it, but I don't know if you can see it on the bottom there, but it is more of like a um, copper gold color. Can you believe I can't get this off? Oh, God. Anyway, once I get that off, I'll be able to show you what that looks like. So that's what I picked up at the company store. And then I have a few like random things. So I ordered the Glossier um, sunscreen, the new sunscreen that came out. So I'm really excited for this. I actually just put some on uh, today. Um, I did notice that it is a chemical sunscreen and not a physical sunscreen. So just so you know, and it's SPF 35 and it is one fluid ounce and it comes in a, like a little pump and it has like a gel texture. So. We'll see. So I was walking uh, around Nolita and I walked into the Claire Vivier uh, like handbag store, walked in there with some friends and lo and behold, they carried uh, Rodin um, goodies. So I was kind of checking out the body oils, uh, but what they did have was this ring, uh, which contains lip balm inside. So. I was so excited I had to get this. So this is what the ring looks like. It's like a clear acrylic kind of plastic ring and um, and it flips, the top flips open. You can see that and then the lip balm is inside. I was like, oh my god. And I had just forgot to pack lip balm. So I was like, let me pick this up. Oh, I forgot to mention at Sephora I also picked up a brush. Um, I was watching I think it was Rosita Applebaum's video and she talked about picking up this Sephora concealer brush number, I think it's number 71, um, and how much she liked the shape. So I thought I would check it out and when I saw it in store I thought it was really, really cool. So this is the brush. Um, it is like flat on one side and then angled on the other. So it's not like it comes to a point, it just sort of does this. And I thought that that would be great for like patting in concealer. So thank you Rosita for recommending this. I forgot another thing that I got at Sephora. I picked up the Tom Ford uh, lip color sheer in Sweet Spot. I had done that video about the kind of mini um, Paradiso um, collection and I had asked you know if Sweet Spot was worth picking up and everyone was like yes pick it up so I picked it up um, it had been sold out online everywhere so when I went to the Sephora down on Broadway in Soho and they had it I was like yes give it to me so here is here is Sweet Spot really pretty pretty light coral color can't wait to try it so I think that is it yes that is it um, I hope you enjoyed that haul. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you've picked up some fun things lately, please leave comments below. Uh, let me know if you want me to review any of this stuff. I do plan on reviewing the Sunset Palette um, and also the NARS Charlotte Gainsbourg uh, little collection there. So anything outside of that, let me know if you want to see more info on. So thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in my next video.